This is a cabin tour of Norwegian Escape Cabin 16118, which is a Haven Spa Suite, a very unusual cabin category. It's got a lot going for it, but it's also not for everybody. So I'm going to show you what's so unusual about this cabin. And we're going to start right over here with a big jacuzzi tub right there next to the bed. That's very unusual. Uh, you sure don't see that in a lot of cruise ship cabins. Here's the deal. This cabin, my take on it, is that this cabin is intended for a romantic couple, like a honeymooning couple or, you know, a couple that's been married a long time, but they've still got the spark, right? This bed is a real king-size bed. It cannot be split into two singles. Uh, so it's definitely designed for people who are going to sleep together, right? We're not all cruise ship cabins are that way. And then with that big uh, jacuzzi tub that can fit two, I think the idea is that you're going to take a bath together, and even the shower is large enough for two also. We'll take a look at it from a different angle here. You can see that jacuzzi tub and the unusual blue lighting effect on the front of it. That can be turned off, and it, it will go off at night and everything. No problem there. The bed is very very comfortable and the colors of the interior decoration of the cabin are very soothing and tasteful nice earth tones uh, it's a, a really really nice cabin but here's the thing uh, two people only you know this is not the cabin if you're bringing your kids along uh, or if it's you and your brother or sister right uh, i think it's for a romantic couple i've got the curtain drawn let's uh Stop for a second, I'll undraw the curtain, and you'll see the other look that the cabin can have. So I've pulled back the curtain now, I'll give you a different look. And what's back there in that area, and I'll show you in more detail in a minute, is uh, two closets, and the bathroom area is there, the entrance and exit out to the hallway, and some additional storage, including a safe. Then over to the right, the desk area, makeup mirror. Uh, there's some storage underneath the desk. There's a refrigerator there. And something that is really unusual, not only do you have a very large TV on the wall there, but also you have access to about a hundred movies on demand at no additional charge. Uh, those movies are available at an additional charge to most of the uh, 4,800 passengers on the ship, but they're available at no additional charge to passengers in Haven cabins like this one. Looking over in the other corner here, uh, you can see there's the doorway out to the balcony, and there's two chairs out there on the balcony. And then uh, in the corner itself, there is a small round table with two chairs. This is a little different than it was on the Norwegian getaway and breakaway. We were on the getaway about a year and a half ago, and in that corner there was a little day bed. I like this better to have the little table and two chairs. I've set up my laptop computer there. That's my little spot to get on and off the internet or work on uh, pictures that I've shot during the cruise, that kind of thing. Looking at this door here, you just take this handle and pull it down and then you can open the door. And the thing that I like about this type of sliding door, I don't know if you've ever been on a carnival cruise, but they use a different style of door, not a sliding door on carnival. And you are constantly hearing your neighbor's patio doors slam shut do not have that problem here on the Norwegian Escape because the doors slide rather than slam closed. Back inside the cabin, this is kind of a big deal for some people. It's the coffee maker in the room. It's a Nespresso brand and so you can make coffee or tea. They have the little pods here for you and uh, <laughs> these are cool. These are tea bags. Oh gosh, I don't even know how to open the thing. Here we go. And this thing is, is stiff so that when you hang it over the side of a teacup, it keeps it from falling in. Is that the greatest idea or what? Now I've moved over to the dressing area and I just want to show you one cool thing. When you open these closet doors, the light comes on inside. And then when you close it, the light inside will go off. Very thoughtful. There's a similar thing going with the safe. When you open the safe, there's a light inside that comes on. It makes it very easy to see what you've got in the safe. Not all cruise ship cabin safes are that way. A lot of 
cruise ships we've been on, it's really hard to tell with the black interior and everything whether you've got everything out of the safe or not. Not a problem here in the uh, Haven. I don't know if the safes and all the Norwegian escape rooms are that way, but this one definitely is. Now on Carnival, if you want to indicate that you don't want to be disturbed, you take a cruise and snooze and sign and hang it outside in the hallway on the doorknob, but that's problematic because the wind in the hallway sometimes blows those things around and they can get messed up. Uh, they have a much better setup here in the Norwegian Escape. You have two switches right here, do not disturb and make up stateroom, and you can switch those to indicate you know, your status uh, and a light comes on in the hallway to let them know. This is the control for the air conditioning. It works really good. There's no problem in getting this room as warm or as cool as you'd like it to be. Now we'll do the bathroom tour, and this is a way nicer bathroom than most of the cruise ship bathrooms I've ever had. You have a double sink, and there's storage underneath the sink, and of course the toilet there on the right, and then looking over on the left we can start to see the entrance to the shower. The shower is big enough for two. It's very, very roomy. It's the roomiest cruise ship shower I've ever had in all the cruises I've been on. Here's the shower from the inside. I brought along that little uh, shaving mirror that's attached with rubber suction cups onto the glass there on the right. And the shower has multiple heads. Let's see if I can give you a demo. No, well, I think that's about all the demo I can give you. If I turn on the lower jets, I'm just going to get soaked here. The cabin comes with a butler, and if you let him know what you like, he will bring that for you. Uh, we told him that, you know, my wife really likes fruit, and <laughs> I go the other way. I'm all about the cookies, so we have fruit and cookies every day. I'm down to my last three here at this point, uh, but, you know, there's always more if you need them. There were fresh flowers waiting for us when we arrived on the first day. We're getting towards the end of the cruise now. They're showing a little bit of wear, but they still look good. And there was also a bottle of champagne on ice for us when we arrived. And one of the best things about staying in a Haven Spa Suite is that it gives you full access at no additional charge to the thermal suite within the spa, including the jacuzzi, the big warm therapy pool, the sauna, the steam room, the snow room, the salt room, and all that good stuff. And that's the tour of cabin 16118, one of about a dozen Haven Spa Suites on board the Norwegian Escape. We had a Haven Spa Suite on the Norwegian Getaway about a year and a half ago, and we loved that. And we love this even more because of a few small improvements that they made.